I'm Lauren with Pack Hacker, and in this video, we're taking a detailed look at the Mouse Extreme Commuter Backpack with Lid, which I've been testing for the last two weeks. Let's dive in. While this bag is pretty simple on the outside, there are quite a few features going on. So we're gonna take a look at those, um, starting off with the material here. We have a range of materials. We have like a 500D nylon, uh, and then like a PU coating on the front here. It's like this front and top is that nice PU coated material, and that helps a ton with like the weatherproofing. And then in addition to that, we have YKK AquaGuard style zippers pretty much throughout the bag. Um, like we see them here, they're on these individual little pockets. So it's sometimes we see with a the bag, they'll do like some AquaGuard, some not. Uh, but with this, uh, you can tell that this bag is really prioritizing that weatherproofness and they're, they're really showing that in the materials that they use. So um, over, overall, like the material feels pretty nice and durable. You can see on the bottom here, it's picking up a little bit on like pet hair and fuzz, but it brushes off pretty easily. And then this whole front panel, nothing sticks to that. So that's pretty solid. We also have a couple of unique features um, to this bag. Specifically, there's like a, um, it's called an air foam in the tech compartment, which we'll get to a little bit later on in this video. Uh, on the outside as well, we have a water bottle pocket. This one felt just pretty standard. Um, this is a 18 ounce bottle and it fits in there pretty snug. Anything bigger than this was a little bit too, uh, it was a little bit too small to fit inside of this pocket. Um, and then if you wanted to lock down gear, there is a G hook here to uh, like if you want to put like a tripod or something small in this pocket that was a little bit taller, uh, you could lock that down here. I didn't find that this came unhooked at all, but we do have issues sometimes with the G-hook coming unlocked. So I would say if you're going to put something in here and lock it down, really tighten that up so that there's no chance that it could come unhooked and something could fall off of your bag. In addition, we have a couple of different uh, carry handles. We have this side carry handle, which is pretty well padded, honestly. Um, I felt like this was the best carry handle to carry this bag by. Otherwise, there weren't really awesome ways to grab it, honestly. We have this top carry handle, which is really just for if you're gonna be like hanging it up on a bathroom stall door or something like that. It wasn't really comfortable to do quick grabs. So mostly this side carry handle and then the front here, there is a little bit of a loop. So if you wanted to use this as just like a quick grab to kind of move it from place to place, you could definitely do that. Um, but this side one is the most substantial out of all of them. In terms of carry comfort, there are some things that this bag does well and some that are not so great in my opinion. So first off, we have these shoulder straps here. They're pretty thick and wide and they're a little bit on the stiffer side and the padding on the bottom is like kind of foamy and squishy. And I found these pretty comfortable. I like that they as well, this like this bottom material is a little bit softer and I like that they put that a little bit on the top of the shoulder straps as well so that if it rubs up against like your collarbones or your neck, it's not gonna be as rough. So that seems like a nice quality of life feature. Here we have an attachment point uh, for gear and then we have these sternum straps, which I don't love this style sternum strap. I think they're super hard to get in and out. So you move them up and down. Um, this way you just kind of like slot them in and then push them in whatever loop works best for you. I find that to be a little bit tedious. Um, I never felt like they fell out or anything like that, but um, theoretically it's just kind of a set it and forget it. But it's like this nice kind of, it's not quite hypalon, but it's a hypalon like material. So it does feel pretty sturdy. And then we got a nice Fidlock buckle as well. And then for the actual back panel, we have this, it's like a, kind of like a mesh pad. This is like a mesh and then underneath it's a little bit foamy, not super soft, a little bit stiff, and then a luggage pass through here. And so you do have a decent amount of airflow, but I think that's more of how stiff the back panel is, which I'll show you in a second. This is the backpack once it's on, and you can see what I mentioned with that back panel being a little bit stiff. You can see that it doesn't really curve to my body. So I would say that was the biggest thing that impacts comfort. I can really feel this back panel. I can feel like the ridges in the padding. I can feel it just like, it feels almost like the backpack is on my back versus I'm wearing the backpack, if that makes sense. It doesn't really contour to me, and so that means that I can feel a little bit more 
both on my lower back and just up on my like shoulder blades as well. Like I said, these shoulder straps are fairly comfortable. They're a little bit on the stiffer side, but this sternum strap does help pull a little bit of that weight of the pack off of me. So it adds a little bit of additional comfort. Now let's look at the pockets. So we have these straps on the bottom and it's not technically a pocket, but it does store gear. So these are just like the G hook that's on the side here. You have them on the bottom as well. So you can loosen them up a little bit unhook them and you can loosen them even more and then put a like yoga mat or something on the bottom of your pack or um, if you have like a tripod if you do travel photography that sort of thing i never found myself really using these but they weren't in the way either and they never came unhooked so i just pretty much cinched them as tight as they can go and they do have strap keepers so that does help manage that strap on the bottom um, in this case i would just kind of loop them back through so that they weren't dangling um, but it's one of those things where, you know, it's not in the way, so you can just kind of ignore it unless you want it, in which case it's a pretty nice feature to have. Additionally, we have a couple of pockets. So we have this um, YKK self-locking zipper. So that's not going to, if it's like put down like this, it's not gonna move on its own. And it does have a nice little um, zipper garage here to help with the weather protection additionally. And on the inside here is a key leash. So this is another Fidlock. Um, buckle so i really like this i just kept my keys attached to this and i was able to instead of like a lot of key leashes the way that they are is that they're attached in the bag and then you have to swing the bag around and you have to just keep basically your keys on the leash while you unlock the door and your bag is still on your body and it can be a little bit clunky i like that instead of me needing to get like an additional carabiner here the fidlock just comes right off so that was super functional for me i really did like that um, not a ton this pocket is decently sized it's pretty much this entire panel uh, but i didn't really find myself doing anything except for putting keys in here it can be a bit tight so this bag is really structured just all around that's what they like to focus on um, and so some of these pockets can be a little bit difficult to get too much in. Another pocket that we have is this top pocket. This is the lid. I in here have my wallet and a phone. And the main thing you can see, my main issue with this pocket actually just happened. So whenever I took something out of this pocket, no matter what it was, the fleece lining came out with it. So I think that, the, I can't tell if it's just like too much of the fleece lining. The pocket is pretty much, it goes down to about here. Um, and so I didn't really feel like I needed the fleece lining. I mean, it's kind of nice if you have like your phone or something like that. But for me, I, it was a little bit more of a nuisance to try and get my stuff in and out of there with that fleece lining since it did come with me every single time. Next up, we have this pocket here. And this is a fairly large hidden pocket on this back panel. It goes to, put my hand in there, it goes to about here. Um, and so this is a great spot for like a passport or something like that. Again, you can see my hand in there, pretty tight. So this pocket, the pocket on the side and this top pocket are all pretty tight pockets. So um, not super great for if you have a lot of gear that you wanna store on the outside of your pack, just because it can be so tight. Finally, we have this laptop compartment, which is a locking zipper. And this is like the main kind of selling feature of this bag, I would say, if this is like why you're looking at this bag, um, is this drop protection. So on the inside here, we have a little Velcro that keeps it in place. I have a keyboard in here, but this can also fit an iPad uh, Pro 12.9 inch without a sleeve. And then in this back laptop sleeve is where it can fit up to a 13 inch MacBook Pro or a um, in a mouse sleeve or a 16 inch MacBook Pro. But with the bottom here, it um there's like a little foam here and that's that air foam that i was mentioning earlier and it's kind of hard to see so i'm trying to give you a good visual you can see it down there uh, and it adds a little bit of drop protection i can definitely feel like it being stiff down here but with this laptop compartment um, it doesn't really have a false bottom, so you can still kind of feel your laptop right at the very edge here. So in terms of drop protection, it helps a little bit, but didn't seem super, super functional for me. If you're finding this video helpful, remember to hit subscribe so we can keep making content to help you travel smarter. Now heading into the main compartment, first off, you'll see this Fidlock here. This is, you like pull it up and then it detaches, and then when you want to connect them again, they just snap right into place. So that's magnetic. I did find sometimes if this was too tight, that it was hard to undo the Fidlock. You do have to have it 
with a little bit of give, not that much. It doesn't need to be that much, but just a decent amount of give to be able to unhook that pretty easily. So the good news is, is that when this is pulled really taut, that gives you a lot of added protection because somebody can't just like open that up really quick and get into your bag. So that's a nice feature. Just a little bit tedious to get in and out of, honestly, especially because with these tight pockets on the outside, a lot of the gear you're gonna store is gonna be on this on the inside of this main compartment. So with this lid, there is another version of this bag without the lid, but if you're getting the lid, you do have to keep in mind that it is going to block a little bit. And the plus side, it's an added security measure. So it's kind of up to you what you prefer. With this, when you open up that lid, you can get access to the zippers. It is dual zipper, so you could put the zippers like down here, theoretically, and just unzip really quick and get to something inside, kind of up to you. Um, another thing actually is with this lid, if you were to have the bag upright, open the lid, you can pull this back and get access to these top pockets pretty easily. So if you wanted to um, have like your wallet inside this main compartment, this is a really great spot for that. I've got a couple other things in here right now, which I'll get to in a second, but um, that that's an option for quick grab items, but you still have to get past that lid. So it's not the fastest thing in the world, but it is faster than unzipping the whole thing. So when you do unzip the whole thing, you get a pretty good look at this bag. So I've got some packing cubes in here. Um, I took this on a weekend trip and I basically only packed what I was gonna be wearing, plus maybe like another option or two, just in case I changed my mind. Um, and it was enough space for me for like a long weekend. So that worked out pretty solid if you're able to pack pretty minimally. Um, like I said, this is 25 liters, but when those packing cubes are in here, you can see they block most of the storage in here so I would say for gear you want to get too quickly definitely prioritize putting it on this front panel so I'll kind of walk you through the pockets here at the very top we have these like elastic pockets where I just put like a charger or something maybe like headphones um, something I wanted really quick access to because I could get into that pocket pretty easily and then there's this mesh pocket this zippered pocket where uh, I actually right now I have my um, contacts and then I have some deodorant as well. So those are two options of something you can like put in here. I put like larger toiletries in this pocket and then the rest just sort of went in here. And then this pocket as well, which I have right now a passport wallet in there, but again, you can kind of put whatever tickles your fancy in there. Um, so you have a couple of zippered options on this front panel and then on the back panel, you on this back panel, you have uh, a few options as well. So I didn't really find myself needing like you could use this for, I don't know, another notebook or something like that. I just didn't really find myself using these pockets a ton just because they were so hard to get to. So you have a side pocket here where you could put a phone or maybe a battery bank or something like that. Um, on the side here, you don't have any pockets. You do have somewhere to put an air tag. So that's great for security as well uh, if you lose your bag or something like that. And then this zippered pocket is pretty big. You can put like an additional tablet in there if you didn't want to put it in that back compartment. Um, so you do have a couple of options for that. Just make sure that, again, it's something that you don't want to get to super often because when you have all your gear laid in here, it's going to block that. This pocket, this top pocket was really the main pocket I had issues with because I have a really hard time zipping around that corner. My hand would always bump into this top and because it's so structured, you can't really like get around it super well. And because this is a squared off shape, this is something we see a ton where when something has like rounded corners, it's hard to get around the corner because you wanna like naturally pull in like a really shallow curve versus the steep curve, you have to sort of guide it a little bit more. Um, but when you do get this open, it's a pretty big pocket. It just was, I, I found myself wanting to use this pocket a ton, but being annoyed when I filled it with gear because it was so difficult to get into. So um, it's kind of up to you what storage situation works best. So there you have it, the Mouse Extreme Commuter Backpack with Lid. Thanks for keeping it here at Packacker, your guide to summer travel, and we'll see you in the next one.